Laurie McDonald from uh, Brilliance Business Solutions. Uh, Laurie, I believe you're the uh, president at Brilliance Business Solutions. How about to uh, can I introduce yourself to our audience? Sure. Yeah, uh, Brilliance Business Solutions has been around since 1998. We're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so it's a little chilly here today. And uh, we've been working with that at Nuke since 2006. We specialize in complex web applications, mainly for manufacturers and distributors. And that net nuke makes up about 60% of our work. So um, we love it as a platform. It's fabulous. Cool. How big, uh, how big is your, uh, your business, I mean, from an employee perspective? Uh, we've got uh, seven people on our team, and we're adding one more. So yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. Um, so we're here to talk about uh, .NET Nuke World. For those of you who are watching who haven't uh, attended .NET Nuke World in the past, you can sign up for DNN World. It actually is, I guess, just about three weeks away now. Um, three weeks, I think, from today, if my math is correct, we'll be uh, having our, our training day. It's in Orlando, Florida uh, at the uh, Buena Vista Spa and Resort, I believe. So if you want to attend DNN World, check out dnnworld.nuke.com. You can find information there and uh, get signed up for the event. Uh, so, Lori, uh, the first question here in the interview is, is this your first DNN World? It is not my first DNN World. I was really excited to go to .NET Nuke World last year. That was my first. And uh, after attending last year, it was so much fun, and I learned so much. I got to put faces to names that I had seen in the forums and on the community. So that was fabulous. So I decided that this year, um, coming back, we're going to bring in more of our team. So we're, we're bringing six people from our team oh, wow. to .NET Nuke World this year. So we're really excited. We're, we're counting down the days on the wall. So it's good. Yeah. You might have uh, one of the largest contingents of, uh, of teams there at, uh, at the conference this year. Well, it'll be fun. Yeah. Um, so what are you looking forward to most about DNN World? Uh, yeah, we were just all printing out the schedule and trying to figure out how we're going to break up <laughs> hitting everything. So um, the costume contest sounds interesting. I don't know that I'll be dressing up for that, but oh, I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. what's what's happening there. So it, it'll definitely be fun. But, you know, the biggest thing is just learning. You know, we I brought back so much last year that we were able to share with clients and use on projects. Um, so I'm looking forward to that again. Cool. I'm... Uh... I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to the costume contest or not yet. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't quite decide if I want to wear a costume. I've been told I have to. All right. Uh, but I can't really decide what that costume is going to be. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so the next question here is: uh, I believe you got one session this year. The title is "Social E-Commerce Using .NET Nuke." Uh, what is one thing that our uh, our audience or the, the people attending the the conference can look forward to learning from your session? Well, I think a lot of businesses uh, don't understand the value of using a community and having a social community as a part of their e-commerce presence, how that can really benefit them. So one thing that we're going to take a look at that I think a lot of people would be interested in is how they can increase their conversions in terms of drive more sales through their e-commerce site using social features using .NET Nuke. And uh, certainly the new features that are available with 6.2 make that um, much more powerful and really a strength um, that isn't present in other systems that are out on the market today. So. Cool. Yeah, I hadn't. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of e-commerce in uh, in quite a few years. Actually, I started out in e-commerce uh, when I was first getting into .NET Nuke back in uh, I think it was 2003, and uh, I I personally haven't been involved in e-commerce in quite a while. But I know that uh, that your company is very strong in that front and uh, making e-commerce easy and uh, better within .NET Nuke. So we appreciate uh, appreciate that from your. Uh, yeah, well, you know, the interesting thing is that, um, you know, e-commerce in and of itself, a lot of times there are platforms out there. Um, you know, we have a product that connects ASP.NET Storefront with that .NET Nuke called an Esto Nuke. And so ASP.NET Storefront is a really solid e-commerce platform, but it doesn't have community features that what, you know, that's .NET Nuke strength. So um, I think more and more marketing teams, as we talk to them, are realizing the power of using community in conjunction with e-commerce to really grow their business. So yeah. that's what we'll be looking at. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so our, our wrap-up question that we ask all of our, uh, our speakers is uh, kind of a Twitter question here. So there's a Twitter personality uh, known as DNN Borat, and uh, the question basically is, is, do you know who DNN Borat is? Or have any guesses? Well, yeah, I have. Well, my money is on Clint Patterson. I really, you know, I don't know, right? Who knows? <laughs> 
Um, but you know, uh, his super fan entry was pretty great this year, as you know, was in the past. So um, yeah, and he's so active on Twitter, and I know there's been some speculation to East Coast, right? So yeah. that's that's my guess, but I don't know. But I, I'll tell you, I want to be the first in line for the DNN Borat bobblehead if, if that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, no, I I think uh, I think Clint's a probably safe bet. Uh, yeah. I don't know for sure, but I think he's a probably safe bet. And I appreciate you bringing up the uh, super fan contest, mentioning that uh, we did launch the super fan contest yesterday. There's six entries. You can check those out on uh, .netnuke.com. If you go to, actually, I don't have a shortcut URL, but if you go to the blogs page, Will Stroll blogged about the contest yesterday. You can check out some of the videos and artwork and creations of uh, or the entries there for the super fan contest. And we'll be awarding the super fan contest uh, awards. Uh, I believe at the DNN After Dark session on Thursday night of DNN World, uh, we'll be giving away bicycle kits, which are shorts and tops, and we'll be giving away a helmet uh, or multiple helmets. We'll also be giving away a full uh, DNN Awesome Cycle bike uh, to the winner of the Super Fan Contest. So uh, get out there. You can vote every day. You can also check out the entries there, and uh, be sure to check out the After Dark party so you can see who wins the uh, the bicycle. Um, Will and I started talking yesterday. We're actually going to try to plan a bike ride on Saturday after the conference. Uh, if anyone's interested in that, I'll post some information on Twitter as well. Uh, hopefully find a, a place that we can rent some bicycles from. Uh, but, Lori, I want to thank you for uh, for attending the, the session here today and also submitting your session and speaking at the conference uh, this year. I look forward to uh, seeing your session. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you there. And uh, if you haven't signed up for DNN World yet, please go to dnnworld.nuke.com, and I'll see you in a couple weeks.